Welcome to Sylvia Stingray. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's me, Sylvia, your Yuri Manwa Translator. Hey guys, good afternoon. Let me present you the new chapter of Perfect Heroine Wants to Possess Me, Chapter 93, Part 2. So here it is. Let's read the story. Xiao said to Teacher Feng. Okay, goodbye, teacher. Well, it turns out it went well today. Seeing you and Xiao. First class is successful. This is one of Chisho Flan. The better future. After leaving, they close the door. Now, the two of them, Isingyu said, Chisho, haven't you always disliked this? Why did you invite Teacher Feng to come to class? Now, facing you, I was really curious. Why suddenly Chisho changing her plans? From time to time. Now, this is it. Ji Xiao finally convey her feelings to her. Plans for her in the future. Ji Xiao said, I know it all. But, for now, it seems that she wants to restrain herself. Conversation between hers and fathers really means to her. Especially her father. One thing, be separated from Wei Xing Yu. Now, Wei Xing Yu said, what do you mean? Probably until now. Isingy is really curious about Chisho Flan. Until now. Chisho said to her. Chisho said, let's go to the backyard. I'll tell you slowly. Well, it is right now. Chisho finally said to her. She will tell everything to her. Especially her plans for the future. Since it's getting late. It's already midnight. Chisho, right now, open a can of bottles. Seems like it's a long talk for them, having to drink, and also while talking. Oh, teacher Feng Wei, Chen Linji, Liu Wei, Liu Hu, tell everything will be discussed and explained. Chisho, towards facing you, well, it was really good, the relationship with you. And your desire to get back away family inheritance from my father. Chisho, she looks really calm and collected while explaining everything to Wei Sing Yu. Chisho, she moved closer to her and explaining to her about the tribal things and details of her plans for the future. Looking into it, she looks really serious. Now, Chisho to her, I know it all. What are you? Well, facing you right now. She's trying to calm herself. But she can hide her feelings. Right now, she was flashing. Although she wants to restrain herself, her plan with Uncle Chen is getting rebuilt to G family. Xiao said, my dad came to see me after you went out a few days ago and he told me everything. Well, this is it. Right now, Ji Xiao is trying to set to Wei Xing Yu about a plan that she discovered together with her dad. Right now, Wei Xing Yu said, Sorry to let you know in this way. Looking at Wei Xing Yu, she looks really sad. For Ji Xiao, right now, she looks really calm and collected. It's nothing. Originally, everyone thought we should become enemies. Well, Ji Xiao trying to express her feelings for her of course she need to protect we seeing you that's why right now how could they imagine that we would be sitting together like this well she has some point for the other people around them especially her dad uncle chen they are thinking the two of them needs to be enemies but it's not what they think for ji xiao she's taking consideration about the feelings and thoughts Facing you, that's why right now, she is gently talking to her about the news she heard from her father. But, are you still ready to be a teacher? Now, she's been asked. Ji Xiao, of course. She really it is. For facing you, she also have some plan. They need to talk about. So that in future, you really can stand for each other. But right now, since Ji Xiao, she was hesitating only said no. She really gradually changed her plan from time to time. 
show, she looks really sad. Well, probably. I really remember what her father said to her. My father threatened me and said that if I don't inherit the company, he will disown me. It's hard to do it reluctantly. Well, it's really worrisome. That's why right now, this is the reason she show. She was changing her decision from time to time. But he learned this. Are you happy? Being a teacher is your ideal, isn't it? Right now, Wei Xing is asking her. For Ji Xiao, I don't want to talk about it now. She asked Wei Xing Yu, What about your ideal? Xing Yu, Now, she looks really confused. Especially Ji Xiao, she know. She didn't follow her father. Her father, he will not give everything. But, Ji Xiao asking Wei Xing Yu, Actually, you too. Don't you want to do this? Now, the conversation is getting better. But, because of it, it's getting worse. Decision making is too tough for them. Right now, Isingyu said, I wanted to be a writer when I was a kid. Right now, seems that everything's changed. Because of the current situation, the dreams become changed. The way Sing is trying, said this to Jishao. This happened suddenly at home, so I could only give up. So, in fact, we can give up our ideals. Well, she was right. Sometimes, you cannot always pursue what you've been wanting for. And sometimes, there's another way that you can go through to be able to create a new dream for you. Especially, the situation this time has made a deal with our ideals. In fate, it was just more important things. Well, looking at it, right now, Chi Xiao, she was really looking forward in the future. That's why, right now, she was really serious about talking this matter, Wei Sing Yu, so they can fix the problem in future. Chi Xiao said to Wei Sing Yu, Come on, let us respect our ideals. Chi Xiao said to Wei Sing Yu, Well, at least right now, some of it have some solution. Now, they really understand each other. It was really good for the conversation, also for the relationship of the two of them. Originally, two of them stay up till late at night, drinking and talking, and also discussing and making decisions. But, more importantly, need to also respect the faith and so on. Now, they're getting up a good foundation the future at least have understand each other now miscommunication and be avoided in the future hey guys thank you for watching if you like the video please don't forget to like share and subscribe and do comments and turn on the notification bell to keep you posted on my daily updates bye